Hello, I'm Karen Algersma in Esquimalt, cooking some awesome hot sauce. And you're watching Go Island on Shaw TV. On today's show, how you can create art even if you're not a trained artist. And gardener and author Carolyn Harriet teaches all of us how we can eat local food all winter long. All that and much more on Go Island. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Welcome to our awesome hot sauce edition of Go Island. We are cooking hot sauce, not just hot sauce, awesome. Yes. Awesome yes. sauce because uh, the awesome sauce, Dad's West Coast awesome sauce creator, one of the creators, Liz Newton, is with us today. Uh, and of course, we always have awesome hot stories uh, on Go Island. But let's first start with the vision, the idea, the brainchild behind West Coast awesome sauce. Tell me, Liz. Well, actually, the brainchild is this particular one, uh, the one that's in the middle, our plain garden variety hot wildfire sauce. Um, my husband had always loved hot sauces and uh, we had a fridge full of them because he tried to combine this and that to get the right heat, the right flavor, and I got tired of all that real estate in my kitchen being <laughs> occupied. So I decided to create that for him and um, it was so good that um, when we had a drop in our income in 2010, we decided to take it um, to farmers markets and we started selling it at Government Street and um, Moss Street Markets in Victoria in the summer of 2010. Started with that. By the end of the summer, due to customer requests, we made the, the green one that you first picked up. That's our mild sauce. And the thing is that um, our sauces have great flavor. They're not just heat, they don't, you know, they're not just cayenne and vinegar or cayenne and salt, which is what your average hot sauce is. Ours have an amazing flavor and uh, that's why they're so popular. So since 2010... It, and that's why they're awesome. Well, yes. Well, and you know, the funny thing was that um, when we were trying to come up with a name, that was a family effort. And uh, our daughter suggested Awesome Sauce. And, you know, we're older, my husband and I, we didn't know that Awesome Sauce actually had a meaning on its own. It means really good. <laughs> you know, if you say Awesome Sauce, it means it's actually better than average. We are going to get, uh, get our hands dirty here in the kitchen. Uh, and let people know what's really in these hot sauces. Of course, we're not giving away all the secrets. No, my friends, you're gonna have to go and buy it yourself. But we will tell you some of the fresh ingredients uh, that Liz puts in this to make it the awesome sauce that it is. Um, but first, we are going to get you inspired to be a little creative this winter. I know that um, I am a bit craft challenged, and I always love ideas like this one, where you can go in and somebody will help you create something beautiful, and yet you can still say, I did it. Well, let's the Chetta Singh explain. How much do you want to just run out right now and paint ceramics? Love that story. Um, what a great idea for like a birthday party or a girls, you know, evening event. Um, we are here uh, in Esquimalt cooking some awesome hot sauce. Now Liz, what are you doing right now to get uh, the hot sauce all prepped? I am actually destemming hot peppers, putting them into this uh, blender or food processor, I, I should say. Um, they'll get chopped into little bits in the food processor and then they go into the pot along with all the other ingredients. Now, of course, we're here today celebrating uh, locally inspired and made Dad's West Coast awesome hot sauce. Uh, you, can, um, you can buy it online, you can get it at the farmer's market, and it's really cool just to, to, uh, to see somebody's entrepreneurial vision come to life. Now, what else go? I, I, I can we don't want to give every secret away, but what else goes into the hot sauce, Liz? Um, canned tomatoes, Italian plum yeah. tomatoes, um, and uh, fresh garlic, fresh ginger, uh, balsamic vinegar, again from Italy, um, and a whole bunch of spices. Depending on which particular hot sauce, uh, there's anywhere from 16 to 21 different spices in each of those sauces. I cannot wait to try it. Oh, it smells awesome. 
I can just tell that an awesome hot sauce is just about to be made and created. And actually, one of the reasons you guys did it is you were in a different place in your life where you were like, what was going on with your work wasn't working, so you're like, what the heck? Let's just be entrepreneurs and do something. And has it been, has it been a, a fun journey being an entrepreneur? It has because, you know, it's so gratifying when people like your stuff, yeah. you know, the stuff that you make. It really is. So what are we going to do with it now? Okay, so this now gets put into the pot. Of course, when Liz puts in the peppers, she takes off the end, but she leaves in everything, the seeds, um, because that is where you get your heat from. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I'm very excited to try some hot sauce because it's awesome uh, in just a moment. But we have to take a very short break. Stay with us because when we come back, we're not only going to try some hot sauce, but we're going to give you a few factoids about it. Like, I hear that it's good for weight loss. And um, we also are going to take you on a road trip. So stick around. Speaking of road trips, I have a trip planned to Montreal. And I can't go to Montreal unless I lose some weight. And I hear that hot sauce and hot peppers can actually help you lose weight. Is this true? Liz, please tell me it is, because I'm gonna take some hot sauce home with me today if it is and put it on everything. Can it help you lose weight? Um, it can help you lose weight because it uh, speeds up your metabolism in general. However, like any kind of diet that you might try to lose weight with, it's not going to do it on its own. So it's a healthy addition to your diet but unfortunately, Karen, you're going to have to work a little hard as well as eating hot sauce. Oh, darn. Well, it's a good start. We are going to try the hot sauce in just a minute, and I'll let you know how awesome it truly is. But first, Kim Rock with all the concert updates. We are serving up some soup that has been absolutely infused with the awesome hot sauce and I'm gonna try it in just a moment. But we have to take a very short break, but please stay with us because when we come back, we have a fantastic story with gardener Carolyn Harriet, who also has two cookbooks out right now on the 100 mile diet and how we can eat all winter long local fruits and vegetables. And of course, I'm gonna tell you how this tastes, so stay with us. One word comes to mind. Can you guess what that word is? Awesome! Thank you, Karen. Oh my gosh, you know, okay. I'm gonna tell you guys something right now. I don't actually like soup, never have. And you know why? Generally, I find it very bland and boring. You've converted me today. This has that, your mouth comes to life. Cause you take a bite and you kind of think to yourself, oh, soup. And then all of a sudden it has a little party, a little fiesta happens in there and you're like, Hallelujah! It's great in soups, it's uh, great on the side with scrambled eggs, um, in egg salad, uh, tuna salad, uh, people like it as a shrimp dip. Yes, um, oh yeah. And we have one of our favorite customers is a lady who likes it in her Bloody Mary. Tell us about your website. Okay, the website is www.wildfiresauce.com. Um, Wildfire! Yes. And um, it has a list of all the stores that were uh, our products are sold at. So the five sauces, um, the spice mixes, uh, it's all on the website. Uh, there are also serving suggestions which come from our customers. So fun. Uh, yes, a whole list. This recipe of this lovely soup yes. is on the website as well as the recipe to make this bread. Yes, the soup that uh, people want to look for is uh, bean and chicken chowder and this is no need bread. It's all on the website and people can get in touch with us through the website, website as well. I want to thank you so much for inviting us into the kitchen to make some awesome sauce and I want to thank you also for all the work you do. It's so great to have local artisans like you who make our markets so much spicier. And yes, I think we can take the heat in our kitchens here on Vancouver Island. And I want to thank you for watching. If you have any thoughts, feedback, if you want to find out more about how you can get some awesome sauce in your life, email us, tweet us, go on our Facebook page, or if you see us around town, say hi. and. Tell us how awesome we are. Thanks for watching.
Gotta have more of the soup. Gotta have more of the soup. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Men's Wardrobe by DG Brenner & Co. Menswear and Accessories. Hair Services provided by Salon J. 